Folks should speak up. I haven't heard from you, but been lonely out here. Crew transfers coming over and even livestock. So I'm looking forward to the flyby with the Ellie's here in about four hours. Maybe we'll get back home too. So. Listen, make sure you remind everyone that this is a one way ticket over. This is going to be too great for return. I mean, I know they know, but they triple sure everything's set for no return, right? All right, this is Long, signing off. Computer, repeat message until contact. Third and final crossing. You know, you folks should speak up. I haven't heard from you in a bit. Been lonely out here. No crew transfers coming over, or even livestock. So I'm looking forward to the flyby with Pelleas in looks like about four hours. See now. Come on. It's happening up there. I'm here to get back home, too. Listen, make sure you remind everyone this is a one way ticket over. The distance will be too great for any returns. I mean, I know they know, but. Make triple sure everything's set for no returns. All right, this is Long, signing off. Roger that, we heard you the oh. first time. Thank God. Damn it, Tom. What? You know what? View screen on. Oh, come on, Long. Come on, you know protocol. Someone could be listening in. Everyone's listening in. We're recording for posterity's sake, remember? Quit scrolling around. Mm, not everything. What's that? Sorry, Tom, confirm. Tom, confirm. There, asshole, better. Hey, you know procedure. Everything's supposed to be face to face. Right, right. You good? <laughs> Yeah, five by five. How's it going there? It's... Things here are going. Is the cargo intact? Yeah. Yeah, all good. About to reach the halfway point here. We should be passing Peleus in two hours. That's good. That's good, Long. Good. Hey. Hey. You know, I've been wondering what the hell is going on there. 18 hours is a long time for silent running. Oh, you know, things, things here are just, uh, it gets crazy, you know, plus there's, uh, they will tell how we rolled from the depths. Here's the doom. Here's the doom. We will prevail. We will Hey, what the hell is that? We will prevail. It's nothing. Look, look, I gotta get something. I gotta get something ready. Nothing, huh? Hey, well, listen, we'll set every, whatever it is you're doing aside for a second. You wanna hear some good news? <laughs> it really better be good, Long. Trust me, make it quick. Hey, hey listen. Stacy's pregnant. If you don't know, I know, but I know. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's great, Long. Really great. Hey. Uh, long. Yeah, Tom? 
But maybe you make the jump over the Peleus in a suit and uh, get back to the Bethany. What? Yeah. Just head on back. We can take care of the car from here. I'll fly around remotely. Go home. Back to your wife. It'd be better for you. What the fuck are you talking about, Tom? And how, how are you going to take care of the Karen anyway? Who's going to fly this fucking bit of balls? You? Why not? <laughs> Listen, you'll get lost in deep space, that's why. Man, fuck you. <laughs> Unlike the third best pilot on this <laughs> ship, I could run circles around you any day. Hey. Hey, Tom. What's going on there? Go home, Long. Tom. Tom, listen, what's wrong? All right, look. We have an emergency situation. Jefferson? Jefferson's dead. They put him out of the airlock. It was Deacon who did this. They're going to cut this transmission. Long, tell command it was Deacon. If you can make it back, tell him the Lazarus is gone. Go back to the Bethany. Abort your mission, Long. Abort. It all started when we ran into that. Tom. 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 Look at that. That's home. That is us. On that speck. On it, everyone we ever loved. Everyone we ever knew. Everyone you ever heard of. Every human being who ever was. Lived out their lives there. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every king and peasant, every hero and coward, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there. On a moat of dust, suspended in a sunbeam. Think of the rivers of blood spilled by all those generals and emperors so that in glory and triumph, 
they could become the momentary masters of a fraction of a dot. Think of the endless cruelties visited by the inhabitants of one corner of this pixel on the scarcely distinguishable inhabitants of some other corner. How frequent their misunderstandings. How eager they are to kill one another. How fervent their hatreds. Think about all the triumphs over such creatures, all the triumphs over every aspect of nature that that dot threw at us. The Earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena, a lonely speck in the great enveloping interstellar dark. Earth is the only world known so far to harbor human life and is the only home we've ever known. There is nowhere else for us to make our stand until now. <laughs>